So I don't want this to be a rage-filled rant about how horrible this show is. This show is just not for me, and maybe it's not for you either. But I don't want to condemn this as the worst thing that's ever aired on television. Pickle and Peanut made me cringe. Get it! Make it bounce! Hard. Pickle and Peanut is something you watch and judge for yourself. But as for me, I had this instant gross feeling. And then I proceeded to watch three more episodes to see if it gets better. It doesn't. There was this feeling creeping up on me that screamed, I'm, I'm judging, judging you, show! I'm, I'm judging, judging you! It's just hard to watch this show and not comment about how everything feels sort of derivative and artificially cobbled together. It's about two goofy friends who work at suburban jobs and are very random while being immature. The art style is also mixed media. The show just doesn't feel like it was made from a particular point of view. It seems to bite off from other works while trying to be unexpected and edgy. And it just comes off fake. And no, the show is not bad because it's too weird or too out there. I'd like to watch Xavier Renegade Angel for goodness sake. Let's just go through why Pickle and Peanut feel so wrong. From the top, the theme song sounds like Daft Punk's Technologic plus random cool things. Sharks, swords, yogurt, cakes, fries, smartphones, hot tubs, yeah. It's not very energetic and doesn't pump up the show well. Just for comparison, how hyped are you when you hear this intro? Versus this one. Tight pants, widescreens, tacos, wheelies, freestyles, dress stores, mini trampolines. Next, we have our two leads, Pickle and Peanut, who have very similar personalities and voices. They don't really play off each other like other duos such as Patrick and Spongebob or Ren and Stimpy. They seem to be the same person just split up into two bodies. Pickle and Peanut have these forced jokes such as the whisper core descriptions of what's going on. Action, action, action. Duck face, duck face. Friendship bracelet, friendship bracelet, friendship bracelet. Yoga, yoga pants, yoga pants, yoga, yoga pants. pants. This happens a lot. Excitement, excitement, excitement. Duck face, duck face. Science, science, chemistry, chemistry, magic, magic. Another joke that keeps popping up is death. There are these edgy, off color gags about people dying or being killed. Did Banjo finish the dam? No, he died. Banjo's dead. A hunter shot most of his face off. It was, oof, gross. Or trying to kill someone. That's for trying to kill us, you creep! <laughs> these jokes just feel not very Disney, but not very adult either. In a show like Rick and Morty, there are often jokes about death and mortality, but the jokes resolve themselves quickly. The death jokes in Pickle and Peanut are just dropped there and float like... Yeah. Another plot device that reoccurs is the token WTF juxtaposition. Such as death metal playing over a cute parenting montage, <laughs> Peanut cutting off his story at a pivotal moment, or live-action commercials that look like old VHS tapes playing over the show. There are also bizarro endings and stock footage. More things we've seen before. These moments can be really funny for kids who have never encountered the juxtaposition humor from Chowder or the fourth wall breaks from other shows, but for teens and adolescent audiences, these moments really are overdone and not new. Lastly, the show just has a timeliness problem. Look at other shows from the past 10 years like Kim Possible, Flapjack, Camp Laszlo, Totally Spies, El Tigre, Foster's Home, and others. These shows had references from when they were made, but hold up on their own when you rewatch them. Sure, the jokes and situations might not be as unique as they once were, but Pickle and Peanut feels instantly dated. It feels temporary from the very beginning. Even South Park wasn't riffing on modern slang from episode one. Things like Selfie, Duck Face, YOLO, and even Nyan Cat don't age gracefully, and relying on current humor is not a good bet for a show with a one-year production cycle. Again, I really don't think Pickle and Peanut is a bad show. It just made me cringe and have a gross feeling overall. I wanted to believe the creators wanted to produce a wacky, offbeat, random, weird show with adult jokes, zany cutaways with mixed media, references galore, and silly music, but the vibe feels like there's something off and rotten. Adults have seen this before, teens can't really respect this for subverting the exact same tropes and ideas of other modern cartoons, and kids will probably feel like they're missing half the jokes. But maybe... Just, maybe, enjoy it as baby's first edgy cartoon. Pickle and Peanut could be a worse show. It could be called hashtag Pickle and Peanut. 
it could be a parody of other shows by ripping them off even more, and it could be really boring. So what do you think about the show? Let me know in the comments below and check out my other reviews. Have a nice day!